The Supreme Court's decision on Roe v. Wade is starting to make potential parents think about their future choices. For parents not ready or able to take care of their child, adoption agencies are preparing for change. Fox 44's Earl Stoudemire joins us in the studio to share what some adoption workers are now experiencing. Earl. MG, the executive director of Nightlight Christian Adoptions, anticipates more expected mothers to first contact crisis pregnancy centers, working closely with the centers, churches, and other community organizations. The agency will be extending its reach to help more women consider their options. We'll be stepping up our game to make sure that everybody has the information they need to refer a woman to our agency if she just wants to talk about adoption. The agency has gone nearly halfway down their wait list of adoption placements during COVID-19 and they've noticed an uptick in the number of expected mothers calling. First stage can be very um, labor intensive, intensive. We want to meet with that girl and again we service expectant moms across the entire state of Texas. And Texas is a big state. Within 24 hours of agreeing to the adoption process, the agency works to arrange visits with mothers to ensure their well-being and safe childbirth, even working in the southeast region and in unexpected situations. We can get a hospital, a call from the hospital. Social worker says mom just delivered a baby. She'd like to place her baby for adoption. We drop everything and go immediately. That doesn't matter if it's July 4th, Christmas Day, you know, 6 a.m. in the morning. Latest data from the Department of Family Protective Services shows nearly 1,000 children in our region waiting to be adopted, with McLennan and Bell County accounting for 400. This number continues to rise. In the first quarter of 2022, we had placed 10 children, and the second quarter, 19, so doubled. And then right now, this office already, the Waco office already has six expectant moms. With 12 staff members from pregnancy counselors to caseworkers, Nancy Rothy, executive director of Nightlight Christian Adoption, says they have families across the nation ready to adopt. We have a collection of families, and right now we have about 110 families that are what we call approved and waiting. They are waiting to receive a child into their home. Alongside the agency's work in handling adoptions, it's planning to be involved with Child Protective Services to help with foster care placements. Live in studio, Earl Stoudemire, Fox 44 News.